if you've ever seen someone have that little overlay at the top of their screen that shows how many FPS and how hot their CPU is running and how well their GPU is performing, but you want to figure out how to do that yourself, how to be able to see the FPS that your computer is getting in any game that you're playing, today I'm going to show you a really, really simple and free way that you can do that. Howdy, my name is Timmy, here with Series Power PC. And before we get too far into this video, if you wouldn't mind going ahead and subscribing with the bell on, that way you're notified every time we upload a brand new video, as well as leave a like. We're going to have some gaming content coming very, very soon. And also, if you wouldn't mind going ahead and checking out our affiliate program, because if you promote our PCs, you will get a cutback sometimes anywhere from $50 to $150, depending on what kind of PC you sell. So... Just go ahead and check out our affiliate program. I'll leave a link in the description down below. But let's get straight into today's video. So first thing you want to do is come here to Google and type in MSI Afterburner. Go ahead and search that. Now click right here on MSI's Afterburner. And I don't personally need the beta, but if you want to try out the beta, some of the new features with Afterburner, you can select the beta option. But I am going to go with the final version. Once that's downloaded, we'll go ahead and open it up. And when we run that, we'll just go ahead and hit yes. We'll select English as the language and go ahead and get this installed. Obviously, always read over the user license agreement. Okay, cool. I have read over the user license agreement. <laughs> And I'm going to install both MSI Afterburner, and I would also recommend installing the Riva Tuner Statistics server. It'll take up around 65 megabytes, so we'll just go ahead and install that. And there we go, now we're installing. This is the Riva Tuner Statistics setup, so I'll just go ahead, that's also going to be 60 megabytes. I'll go ahead and install that there. Alright, perfect, perfect, perfect. Now we're going to go ahead and launch MSI Afterburner. It should auto-launch. Now this is really, really cool. However, be very, very careful when playing with these settings, because if you're not careful while playing these settings, you could potentially fry components. It is literally called MSI Afterburner. You can tune all sorts of different stuff with your PC with this app. This is one of the apps I really recommend going ahead and grabbing for your PC if you have a new PC that you're looking to install uh, some programs on because it allows you to do a whole whole lot but that's not what we're gonna look at what we're gonna look at is the settings right here so go ahead and click on your settings and then once you have your settings window open we're gonna come here to monitoring this is how you're gonna be able to see what different FPS your uh, games are getting I want to go ahead and turn frame rate on and I'm going to make a couple changes here I'm going to actually uncheck all of this just so that I can make sure that I'm checking the proper things where they should be. So I'm going to go ahead and tick frame rate on. I'm also going to tick on GPU temperature, GPU usage, uh, memory usage, and then core clock as well as memory clock fan speed just because I want to know how fast my fans are running good I kind of want my frame rate one percent lows as well so we'll go ahead and hit apply there that should apply all of my settings everything that you put a check mark by is not automatically going to show up in your on-screen display you're going to tick this show in on-screen display button and then over in properties tab it will say in OSD. So just go ahead and go through and for all of the ones you want to be on or all of the statistics you want on the on-screen display just go ahead and add all of those to the on-screen display by clicking show on OSD. And then all of that should be there so you can go ahead and hit apply. I'm personally not going to touch any of these settings down here but what we are going to look at is on-screen display. So I'm actually going to bind toggle on-screen display to my home key on my keyboard simply because if I'm in the middle of gaming and a mini map pops up or a notification pops up underneath the MSI afterburner window that's showing me all this information, I obviously want to be able to see that, so I'll be able to just hit that button on my keyboard real quick. So we're going to hit OK. Then once you save those settings, go ahead and click minimize up here and that will allow you to have 
your statistics right up there and up at the top. You can see my GPU statistics up here, you can see my memory statistics, and you can see the frame rate that I'm currently running at. So as you can see, there is a drop whenever I open up a menu like that or close a menu like that, but that is how you monitor that up there. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you monitor your gaming performance and FPS performance on your PC with MSI Afterburner. If this video helped you at all, kindly leave a like. That would greatly show your support and show that you want to see more videos on the channel like this, showing you how to use new or maybe software that you haven't used before. Share this video with any friends who may be asking the same question, and if you wouldn't mind, go ahead and hit that subscribe button because we're going to be making some gaming content coming very, very soon. Thank you all so much for watching. And yet again, if you want to check out our affiliate program where you can make anywhere from $50 to $150 every time you sell a PC, then go ahead and check the link in the description down below. That will be waiting for you. My name is Timmy, here with Series Power PC. Thank you so, so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next week with a brand new video.